Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Vicente. Good evening, Brandy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good Rafael. Good evening, Good evening, Daniel. Hey, Daniel, where are you, buddy? Good no, evening, no. Alejandro. Good evening, oh. Evelyn. No, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening, Sandra. Daniel, Good evening, Daniel Carla. Driving motorcycle. <laughs> Good evening, it is. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hello, it is. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> hey, hope you are doing well. Yes. Good yes. Evening. All right. So, where are you, Daniel? Yeah, where are you, Daniel? Seems as if you were, you are at a discotheque. At a discotheque. <laughs> In a dick, in a bar. Oh. <laughs> I, I am not coming. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, go, no, go no, back no. to your home, Daniel. <laughs> he is the DJ. Mixing, the music mixing. No, I really am, I am in a car. My wife is driving. And All I, right. You should ride in, um, through the. Juan Pablo II, you don't know. Uh, Juan Pablo II, near to the yeah. Tiendona. Oh, all right. Uh, so <laughs> you are going to have classes in the car tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you won't participate, okay? So you are going to do so. You will participate. Alas. His office in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let us wait a little bit, people, so that we can see more of the uh, the participants in the class, all right? Meanwhile, they gather, uh, we're going to start by doing something, okay? Uh, Vicente, what do you remember yes. about uh, yesterday's class? We were studying about uh, the use of us, and uh, about the um, the youth of the congrats. All right. Uh, let's turn in the comparison. Okay. Is there anybody who wants to help Vicente? Who remembers Please. about yeah? Who remembers about what happened yesterday night you in the class? Not everybody at the same time, only one person, please. <laughs> we were talking about the comparison. All right. What else do you remember? Comparison. Comparisons of Comparison. uh, houses, mm -hmm. houses and, and departments, right? And department, right. And mm -hmm. we had a dictation practice and we studied a little bit. We saw so a couple of exercises. Uh -huh, but what else? Maybe the teacher assigned a humble we assignment. Were, we were talking. Ah, ah, we, we have a, a we, humble. We were yeah, talking we about string homes. Uh, we were talking yeah. about the weirdest houses in the world. And, and actually, we saw a video, right? Yes, we oh. were watching. All right. So we have a humble assignment. About, about houses. About Stream. houses. Dream okay. house about the weirdest houses in the world. Yesterday I heard Daniel saying like, daba daba do, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> I remember um, I, 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 that house is very interesting because daba daba do say this house is, is funny for me. Yeah, it's funny <laughs> and it's interesting, right? Okay, so let us get down to business. You know, we only have an hour and I want, I want I told you, right, to create a, a, a short, a short a presentation about the house that you prefer, all right? So we're gonna start with it. They were gonna go over the activities in the platform. They are going to come back because I, I, I think we're going to have enough time to work in pairs because you need to create something else tonight, okay? So that you can present it tomorrow. Remember, we are having classes until Friday, okay? So tomorrow and the okay. day after tomorrow, we are going to be over here. So let us try to take advantage of time. And let me see. I don't remember, I haven't heard, uh, well, Cecilia, Cecilia is a very active um, 
participant. Cecilia, do me the favor to share the presentation you, you uh, created with the house that you uh, chose. Okay, people. After, after Cecilia, uh, we're going to have another presenter, okay? So be ready because we don't know who's going to be the next presenter. We're going to listen to three or four people, okay? No more than that. Okay, Cecilia. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my favorite strange house is old water tower house. I I like because it's a single family home. The reasons the reason is that the outer part looks simple, but inside is modern also was constructed to to car garage to bedrooms and sizable multifunction room and kitchen the best is the hey e, uh, sorry i like the occup occupants can also ascend to the rooftop terrace and can see the village. 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 I see. You, you didn't create any presentation, did you? Sorry? Uh, didn't you create any presentation about the house? Thank, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's all right. That, that was PowerPoint uh, yeah. Yeah, That was good. Okay, but the <laughs> was quite good. Okay, now uh, Cecilia, who's your best friend in the group? <laughs> Select the victim. Who's your best friend in the group? <laughs> Um, Maybe. Carla Hernandez. Okay, Carla. Okay, Carla, you are the lucky one. Okay. She's the lucky. She's the lucky okay. one. Okay. Okay, Carla. I, I, I had the presentation. Yeah, if you created a presentation, do me the favor to use it. Yes. Okay. Good evening. Can you see? Skyboard. Yes. Okay. Skyboard house. Yes. Um, first, uh, the skateboard house. I choose the this house because uh, has entertainment and the style of the house is not common. And you can play inside the house. So you and your friend can spend the time in the house without leaving home. And okay. If if we look at the house, it is made of the special material for skating. The house has enough space 
for a person and your friend, they can eat, uh, they can eat and watch the movie. So they have this to be to enjoy and you can take a nap. That's it. All it's right. Thank you very much. But it was good info and also the the house seems to be a really a really nice house right okay okay thank you very much carla carla tell me uh, who who do you want to be the next um presenter you want to be the next um presenter a boy or a girl a girl a girl okay a girl. now choose okay, choose the now. name of the person choose, choose the name of the Janira Elizabeth. Okay, Janira. Hope you are uh, more than ready. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, can I shape? Hello, Janira. Listen to me? Yeah, we can listen to you perfectly. Yeah, yeah we listen. Um, I can share. Share. Yeah, right now we are not seeing the presentation. Okay. She gets uh, time. <laughs> she gets a minute. That's smart. Oh uh, my God! Right. Strange how. This is a gave, strange how. Two minutes. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I, I choose a strange oh. house because it's extremely uh, weird. Right, weird. Yes, and I I did um and ask me uh, how did how did architect um, um, the ensemble ensemble the the, that this house and in this position is difficult. And when I when I when I look in this this form, I feel fair um, because the house is jungle shape. For me, is is it right? That's it, teacher. Okay. Now, let me see. Now, we need a volunteer. I, I just, ah, well, yesterday I said, I mentioned somebody, but 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 I, let me ask for a volunteer. I need a volunteer so that we can move on. Okay, Brandy, Brandy. After Brandy's presentation, we are going to move on. We are going to continue, okay, with the class. Okay, okay Brandy. I, yes, I don't have presentation really. I forgot this part. Uh, well, I choose the Hobbit House uh, uh, because. For me, it's uh, good if the if something is good with the environment, it's friendly with the environment. These hobbit houses is made with bicycle things, or they use a lot of like um, they what is it? They dug into the land. And they use mood for made the houses and cover with uh, mood. And they have like a uh, uh, weed in the, roof, in the roof for cover all the house. Or they like open a hole and they have uh, like a garden. And this is really good. And uh, I was watching a video that is in New Zealand. There are like uh, 44 uh, houses, uh, these hobby houses, 
And in this place, it was like the first player who made this uh, for the Lord of the Ring was a movie who was created with, with these houses. Um, and I was watching the same time and what is the near place who have this, these houses and we have these houses here in uh, Guatemala. And I was watching the, the prices. If you want to go, is the day pass it like a $50 and you will have a, a big experience in this and these houses because uh, um, everything is made with mood and with good and with something that is recycled. And there are many play that you can play some games that they prepare for you. Uh, the room are uh, big. You can see at the first time there is like a small because of the hobby that was like short people. So these uh, houses was like uh, for short people. But uh, when you go inside to the room, it's like a big room, like uh, for six people, it depends on the room, you can, uh, you can pay more or less money. But it's a really good place and have a lot of uh, lookout. Is lookouts are the place where you can see like the volcano that they have in front of these houses, and uh, you can see the city and everything. So it's a really good and exciting. Go to those places because they take care of this, the um, the environment. Uh, I think I have more, but I think the teacher need more time for the class. <laughs> That was fantastic. Okay, guys, where is the purpose for me to assign that kind of homework assignments? Okay, when you go, uh, I mean, when you go and you prepare your presentation, you need to be sure about three aspects. First, first off, you have to memorize the information, okay? Keep it in mind. You have to memorize information. You have to get... I mean, the general idea, if you want, if you don't want to memorize the info, okay, try to get a uh, main idea so that you are able to present information over here with, uh, without having the necessity of reading the info, okay? That is the first. Second, what is the second objective? Uh, well, you know, when, when you investigate about a certain topic, of course, that you are going to encounter new words is that right okay so if you get new vocabulary you have to memorize that vocabulary not only the meaning of the word but also the pronunciation of the word in that way you are going to enrich vocabulary phrases and sentences and you know your english is going to improve quickly okay you are going to learn fast okay so those are the purposes and the third one is to have the opportunity to participate actively in the class, okay? So to show everybody that you are learning. That is the, like your opportunity to show the teacher, Enrique Morales, that you are doing your best. To show, uh, to demonstrate yourself that you are doing your best, that you are learning, okay? Because who's the best evaluator in this process? It's you. It is you. I can evaluate your, your performance, your, your effort, but at the end, who, who tells if you are, have learned or not this yourself, okay? So keep, it, keep in mind that, okay? So we're gonna move on, okay? We're going to get back to the platform because you know, we have information over there and I, I will evaluate something over here. I need to see how much did you learn yesterday so you know what we're going to do i will play this video i know that you will say teacher but we already saw this video and that this word is pronounced how do you pronounce this word because i hear some people who said "ino, no no how do you pronounce this word you know enough ah okay you know so if i told you in the class that the pronunciation of this word is enough try to try to say it that way when you use it okay so you know we're going to see this video okay evaluation with adjectives with uh, enough to as as and just as as 
we, we started this yesterday, okay? And we have been studying this uh, during the whole uh, week. But you know what? Today, we are not going to have any sound. We are not going to listen to the, um, the person's explanation, okay? So what does it mean? Yeah, when I post the video, because I will post it, I will post the video. And when I post the video, I will ask somebody from the group to tell me what you understand about each part, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so let us start, let us try. No, but like, give me one second. It will be from the very beginning. Okay, now let me see. Remember, I will post them, I will post the video in a certain part. All right, for example, over here, he's, 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 I mean, he's presenting and he is, he is explaining what's in, in this chart. Okay, now from the group, from the group, let me see, because I don't see you over here. Give me one second, from the group, uh, 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 Rafa, Rafael, what can you tell us about it? What's what do you remember about it? Whatever that you remember, it's all right. If you want to talk about pronunciation, tell me about pronunciation. If you want to tell me about about explanation on grammar, tell me about explanation. If you want to provide uh, extra sentences or extra examples, provide extra example. What I want to know is. How much did you get from this part? Okay. Okay. Uh, it's about the video. No, uh, about this this part. This part. I mean, this part. Of the explanation. What do you remember? Uh, teacher, uh, we will traduce on the video. No. No, no. Translate the video. Can you hear me, teacher? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Now, just give me one second, please, because I will, I will share it with you again. I think that's a problem, right? It's because you don't see it. We can see nothing. Now, now yes, right? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, right. Yeah, now, now. yes. Now we are talking, right? Now we're talking. Okay, so it's his part, Rafa, Rafael, sorry. It, it's yeah, this yeah. part. Now you see, I mean, this part it was explained by the guy in the video, but I just want you to tell me what you remember about this part. Uh -huh. It's uh, about um, uh, comparison um, about uh, answers no questions in uh, two different ways of questions uh, directly and uh, indirectamente Mm -hmm. you it's uh, about the um, two forms the the questions is a uh, um is a uh, Es lo que recuerdo, eh? oh, okay, Raf okay, Rafael. Rafael, choose somebody else to help you. Alejandro, maybe. Alejandro Pacheco. Okay. I think I think um, it's about um, all plan is basically is uh, when you when you compare 
something for another thing. In this moment, uh, all, all parts is talk about a negative because, for example, the apartments, apartments aren't to be enough for families because it's negative. It, for example, another, another one is in the question and when you evaluate if you if it's enough for you, for example, in this moment the house, talking about the house, for example, if you if you want to buy a house, if you go to uh, buy a house and say, hey, give me all I want to get. For example, is it the rooms is small, is big. Uh, basically, you know, you want to know the specific and the, um, and the Paris on the evaluation for you if you want to, if you, if you can live in there, for example, in the house. You know what I mean? I try to explain it about this, this topic, right? Okay, that was good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, um, tell me, Daniel. Is that no, Daniel Rafael. talking or Fernando? Rafael. Ah, Rafael, go ahead. Uh, it's two forms uh, to say uh, the same thing, right? Yeah, there are two ways to say the same thing, right? It's because you say apartments are big enough for four uh, families but yeah. the, is the, the only thing that you need to change over here is life if you want to if you want to use two how will you say the same story uh, uh, this uh, say the same thing uh, the two forms different yeah uh, is a uh, it's the same thing. It is the same, right? Apartments are too small for families. It's the same as in the first one. Apartments are big enough for families. Is that like like the same as saying apartments are too small for families? It's, you're saying yeah. the same, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not the same. Um, yeah, it is uh, the same. Los apartamentos son lo suficientemente no son lo suficientemente grandes para las familias. Si usted dice los apartamentos son demasiado pequeños para las familias, realmente está diciendo lo mismo. Sí, en esa parte. The negative question. Yeah, that's right. Answer. This yeah. is negative and you are using enough. This is positive and you are yeah. using two. This is more is now you can live in it. Yeah, now in the in the other one, regarding to comparison with adjectives, you will you can see this uh, structure, right? as convenient as as intelligent as as smart as okay okay so over here you need to have an adjective right in this case we're talking about buildings and houses and that's why we have houses aren't as a convenient as apartments houses are just as convenience convenient as apartments okay so they they have like the same the the same um Characteristics. That's why we are comparing them in that way. Okay, evaluations with nouns. Apartments don't have enough parking space. Houses cost too much money. So you know we have a simple present. Okay, that's that's one of the differences over here. In the first one, we're using the verb to be, but over here we're using the simple a present. Okay, in order to compare, don't have enough. Parking. Okay. No, it, this is this is not compa comparing, right? But this is evaluating. Okay. This is evaluating. Uh, Teacher, oh, tell me. And the use and no and two is the one way um, say quantity. Yeah. Enough money. Enough water. Enough uh, coffee, etc. You can use it in that way. Okay. Pretty mm -hmm. good. 
a lot of too. Yeah, and also too much money, too much water, too much honey, too much something that cannot be countable, all right? You know, it's similar a lot of. No, enough is no? similar to sufficient. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Thanks. And it permits have just, let me see, Daniel. Daniel? Yeah, in this case, for evaluation with nouns, always no. use too much, too much, or only two. Too much. Remember that we are using, we are, we are uh, trying to use the, the expression enough and two. So this actually is like an intensifier. It's too much money, okay? If you say if you only say houses cost much money, it is different as saying houses cost too much money. All right. All right. Clearly. All right. Very All good. Right. Now that's you know that's why we're doing this activity because I want to make sure that you are like um, getting the the whole message, right? Now I will ask somebody else just to help me. Now, for example, this part, this part, this part, let me see. And we're going to try to finish with this because I have another activity. Okay, people who almost never participate in a class, let me see. Well, yesterday I said Alejandro, no, Angel was in church of participating tonight. Okay, Angel, this is the, the, your, your, the biggest opportunity for, for you to show everybody that you are uh, doing your job. best here. Angel. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Can you just provide some info that you remember about this part of the video? I remember that we <clears throat> we were working with the forms as to us to make a comparison and use the expression enough or too much and that we need a if you use a negative, if we use an aren't. Good. Good, Angel. Uh, I really I really like that you remember about pronunciation and and also like look what we have here is like the pattern, right? The grammatical pattern on how to use um the expressions that mm -hmm. are in the in the chart. Okay, so you see. We need a subject. Wait, what are the subjects, people? What are the subject. subjects? Yeah. Subject pronouns. What are the subject pronouns? Subject. Sub yeah. Subject. Subject. Yeah. Subject. No. What, what, what are them? Or which are them? Apartments. Apartments. Uh, okay. Or, Nobody. Uh, or animals or um, names. Remember, subject pronouns are like I, you, he, she, it, subject. we, you, and they. Subject. All right? But you know, in here, we are talking about apartments, right? Apartments is a subject. And after the apartment, we need a verb. And, and, but what is the verb? The verb is the plural. The verb to be. Yeah. Okay. Apartments. Okay, it's notice you are just answering the, my questions. Apartments, somebody said apartments is a, a plural noun. That's why we need to plural. take it as, I mean, the verb to be needs to be taken like aren't. Yeah. Apartments aren't, then we um, need a, adjective. an adjective. In this case, it's big, spacious, or comfortable, etc. Yeah. And after that, yeah. we need the word. Enough. Enough, and then we need Enough. a complement, right? So that's for this expression, people. Let me see if we get something else, because I need to be sure that you are just 
Uh, okay, this is this is the other one. Uh, this is for two. Okay, take a look at. Uh, let me see. Kind of I lost about the part on two. Well, but but it's ah, oh, it's over here, like right? you know when we are when we need when we use are... two. Okay, we we have like this like the same um, subject over here. We have parameters. Then we have the verb to be. Then we have uh, the expression two. Then an adjective, and okay. then that complement. Company. Okay, so that those are the structures that we have been studying so far. And you know, I think it's enough about this activity, okay? We have seen this video like three times during this week. Is that right? Two or three okay. times. So I think it's enough, right? And besides that, let me see, we also, uh, so this video, okay. Okay, yesterday, and we completed this part. Okay, I oh, know this. This is this is new, right? This is an activity that we haven't done yet. Okay, and after this, I think we we, we still we we're going to have some time to talk about an activity that I want you to create. Okay. Now. This is a knowledge check, okay? Knowledge. This is the, which is the correct? In the first one? First Third one. one. Yeah, number three. The, yeah, tell me, what's number uh, three all about? Three one. In my three opinion, one. houses are used as expensive as apartment in my neighborhood. In my opinion. expensive. Awesome. In my opinion, houses are just as suspense. The third one. Okay, the third one, the number three. In my opinion, three. houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Hey, uh, I, yesterday I noticed that uh, some of you, let me see, all right. Uh, said only one, but have. remember we have two. If we start with two. comparing with one, okay, we need to get the second one over here. As expensive as, as uh, cheap as, as um, whatever, right? So, but you, you need to be clear that you need to use both. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's go over the next. My. My neighbor's my house neighbor. has five bathrooms, but my house isn't as big as his. Third one. Third one. Third one. Isn't as big as this. Number three. I don't like to live in an apartment because they. Number two. They number don't have. Three. Number 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 three. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, what is the one that All we, right, so that we yeah, <laughs> listen, listen, Kerry. what is the one that we use with countable nouns? Many or much? Many. Uh, okay, so you continue thinking it's number three? No, number <laughs> two. No, right, so that's a, a, a very basic mistake. So many okay, rooms. so, so is the second one or the first one? Many. I think the first, the first one. one. 
I don't like to live in, uh, in apartments because they don't have as many rooms as houses, right? It cannot be the, why cannot be the second one, people? Why it cannot be the second one? Because we are comparing, so we need twice as us. That's right, it's because we need one over the here, first one. The first one. as I told you the last time, right? All right, so number three is done. Number four. Yes. My name, no, my dear one. house, does it yes, have Mark, the first one? As much. As, as much. As much. As much space as my old house. So we're going to check it, okay? And we will see if we did it. And after that, I will let you know what's the activity for tomorrow. We're gonna start working on that tonight, okay? Because it's a little bit, um, it's interesting, you will notice about it. Okay, which is the correct? You see number three was the correct one. In my opinion, houses are, who wants to help me to read? Me. Okay, in, real, in my please. opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Good. Number two. My, neighbor, no. my neighbor's Sitting house high, has five bedrooms, but my house isn't as big as big as his. Good. Number three. I don't like to live. In apartments because they because they what? I don't like to live in apartment because they don't have as many as, rooms as houses. As houses, very good. Okay, this is this was the correct one. Now you have you you have the the I mean the explanation of that. We're gonna read it uh, uh, later. And the last one. My new house doesn't have as much space as my old house. Oh, right. That was really good. That's fantastic. Now, if you have any questions, this is the time, right? And let me see. I have, for example, the, the explanation about the answers here. Okay, use the formula in the number one. You, you have a subject. You have the verb to be, just as is an adjective as in the noun. That's what we have over here, right? We have a subject. What is the subject over here? Houses. 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 What is, is this? The verb. The verb. This is the verb to be. Then look at what we have here. It follows the pattern, right? Just us. Just us. Uh, what's expensive? The adjective. Ah, we have an adjective, and then adjective. we have as again, and as. then we have a noun. Apartments in no. my engine, then you have a compliment, right? Compliment. Now, in, in the second one, it says, use this formula. Uh, the verb to be is over here, right? Isn't, isn't, it's in the negative form. Um, mm -hmm. Well, you have subject, verb to be, as in an adjective, right? My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house isn't, my house, is 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 a noun, right? Isn't as be adjective as his. Okay, his refers to his house. So it follows a pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it follows a pattern. And as you can see over here, it's, it's it's about the same story over here. It's the same story that's continuously uh, repeating over here. I mm -hmm. don't have as many rooms as houses. Okay, because they don't have uh, as many rooms as houses. They what? Apartments, right? So we're talking about apartments. Apartment. Mm -hmm. And it, it's the same story over here, okay? So let me see. This is the number. Give me one second. 3.5. Hey, what's what's coming? Okay, today is uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow, we, st we're, we are going to continue talking about an activity that I will assign tonight. And on Friday, we are going to have a, a, an overall review about the midterm. Okay? Okay. okay. 
Okay, what, what are the activities that are coming, people? Tomorrow? Tell again, uh, because Okay, I, I will I will mention it right now. Okay. Tomorrow. Yo creo que es mejor si lo hacemos de manera individual, porque no sé cómo son sus horarios. Y pues no sé si todos ustedes están trabajando a, a tiempo completo. Entonces lo vamos a hacer de manera individual. Pensaba utilizar un tiempo en la clase para que lo, lo trabajáramos en pareja. Porque está, pues está muy, muy, muy bonita la actividad. Quiero que creen una historia. Ok, una historia. El tema que nos presenta la, la plataforma, ya sabemos que son las houses en las en, en apartments. Eso es lo que estamos viendo. Pero, como alguien por ahí decía en la clase... No, no se va a encerrar a que vamos a ocupar to and enough y lo que hemos estado estudiando solo en referente a, 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 a casas y apartamentos. O sea, eso lo podemos usar en diferentes eh, este, conversaciones, diferentes situaciones. Entonces, quiero que nos que, que creen una pequeña historia, un, un, una pequeña historia, ok, en donde utilicen lo que hemos estado estudiando, ¿ok? Lo que está, hemos estado estudiando en estos, en estos días. Ayer me, me sentí muy, muy bien al escuchar que, que las personitas que, que describieron este, los lugares utilizaron justamente lo que yo les estaba solicitando. Entonces, mañana o sea, empiecen a, a trabajar en eso este, en los pocos minutos que nos quedan para que ya ustedes se familiaricen en qué vamos a, a, a enfocarnos el día de mañana. El día viernes vamos a, a hacer un repaso general del midterm. ¿okay? Vamos a ver en qué nos equivocamos, si acaso nos hemos equivocado. Si no nos equivocamos, pues entonces solo lo que vamos a hacer es reafirmar lo que hicimos. Okay, pero siempre va a ser de beneficio. Ok, voy a pasar la lista mientras ustedes van pensando en qué tipo de historia nos, nos van a contar mañana. Puede ser una historia de, de, de amor, de romance, de miedo, de lo que ustedes quieran, pero sorpréndanos mañana. Ok. E incluyan, okay. E incluyan por ahí si quieren lo, lo que hemos estado viendo los apartments and the houses. Sería muy bueno. ¿Alguien puede inventarse una una historia de una casa encantada, ok, podría, ¿por qué no? Ok, se la inventan y que ahí conocieron al príncipe azul o morado, no sé qué color le van a poner ustedes ahí, o a la princesa, no sé. Pero, pero lo importante es que nos describan, ¿verdad? Que si van a ocupar, digamos, ese tema, que nos digan que utilicen lo que nosotros hemos estado estudiando. Y otra cosa, me he fijado que cuando eh, describen una casa, se les olvida usar there is and there are. Utilicen there is and there are. Ok. okay. So, son cositas que no debemos perder la de vista. Bueno, voy a pasar la lista mientras ustedes van creando o iniciando por lo menos con el tema de su historia. Ok. Ok. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Hey, ah, otra cosa. Necesito que lo, que lo editen, que lo digiten. Porque acuérdense que estamos trabajando las cuatro destrezas del idioma. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. O si lo quieren escribir en el cuaderno, háganlo. Pero necesito okay. que lo plasmen en algún lugar. We will do it. All right, very good. Give me one second. Please. I have a question. Tell me. The, this homework, we, we must do in pair? No, it, it's individual work. Individual. Pensaba yo hacerlo en pareja, pero, pero en realidad no les quiero afectar que anden en su día, en el día de mañana, como muy estresados porque tienen que trabajar en, en conjunto. Mejor hagámoslo de manera individual. We can do in pair if somebody have time. In my case, I have time. Even I, I, I tape something on the, 
WhatsApp group and I say if somebody has time, but. Ah, oh, ok, entonces dejémoslo libre. Si alguien lo quiere hacer en pareja, hagámoslo en pareja. Si yeah, no... because I think that because we can practice more, we, we can. Have... Ok, me parece, me parece. It's, 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 está it's genial right. esa idea. El you want to el... be my partner, put your hands up. Ok. <laughs> so if you have some time during the day and you want to start working with a person, or with a classmate, that would be fantastic. Okay, now listen to me, Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Yancy. Ana Yancy. Angel. Present teacher. Brandy. Present. Cecilia. Present. Cristina del Carmen. Present. Daniel. I'm here. Da, uh, Diana Stephanie. Present. Elena Noemi. Present Love. teacher. Okay, Elena is there. Evelyn Susana. Susana. Present teacher. Good. Present. Fernando Alberto. Fernando Alberto. Okay, Fernando is there. Fernando is there. I'm here. Okay, I'm very here, good. Teacher. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gladys. Gladys. Present teacher. Present. Present. Yeah. Iris Concepción. Iris Concepción. Present Jessica. Jessica. Present teacher. Carla Present Selena. Teacher. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Kevin Alexander. Hello, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Ok, Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Ruth Elizabeth. Hello, Ruth. Sandra Noemi. Sandra. Vicente. Here, teacher. And Janira Elizabeth. Hi, here. Okay, very good. Excellent people. Now I'm done with it. And let's see, we're going to spend like five minutes. Or, uh, the, the time that we have just over here in order to start working in the story, okay? Um, vamos, a, vamos a trabajar, okay, los últimos minutos eh, en, en la actividad que vamos a desarrollar el día de mañana, okay? Tomorrow, tomorrow, okay, something that I want you to take into consideration is that if you read the information, try to read the information as if you were our grandparents. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. El día de mañana que nos cuenten ese cuentito que nos van a crear, quiero que no lo vayan a leer como así, como que le están leyendo a otros, a, a otros adultos, no. Que, le, que nos lo lean como que si ustedes fueran nuestros abuelitos, ¿ok? No sé quién sí. se recuerda cuando nos contaban historias los abuelitos de nosotros. Le ponían con mucha emoción a la cuestión, ¿verdad? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yes, we remember. Okay, so it needs to be that way for tomorrow. Okay, so you have to practice pronunciation and you need to, to catch our attention. Tienen que lograr captar nuestra atención el día de mañana, okay? Con buena pronunciación, con la creatividad que ustedes le van a poner a la historia, okay, etc. Entonces, este, quedémonos acá todavía trabajando. Porque les voy a preguntar, antes de cerrar, antes de cerrar la sesión, les voy a preguntar cómo se va a llamar el cuento el día de mañana o la historia. ¿Ok? Ok, trabajen en eso, por favor. Work on that, please. Okay. ok. No se vayan a salir porque les voy a preguntar el tema de la historia el día de mañana.
Ok, people, uh, I forgot to tell you something. Se me olvidaba decirles algo. El día de mañana que, lo, que presenten esa actividad, nos van a identificar dónde utilizaron las estructuras gramaticales que hemos venido estudiando, ¿ok? Y hay algo que no hemos hecho el repaso, que es acerca de there is y there are. Quiero que por favor me lo identifiquen en la historia. Ok, good. Angel, I think you got, you are thinking too much tonight. <laughs> okay, so when you get in the name of the story, let me know it. Raise your hand and tell me or tell us so that we can think about it. My topic is houses. Houses, okay. Okay, yes. an enchanted house, Maria. Una casa encantada. No va, no va a crear no. una historia de una casa encantada. No. Not, not really. Okay, so, but try to be very creative for tomorrow. Muy creativa para mañana. Yes. Vicente, what's... I what's, will try. Oh, my, no, my I know history. you can do. Yeah, Vicente, what, what will your history all about? Uh, my history is going to be about uh, our city. Our city. Our, our city. Va a yes. ser como una ciudad fantasma. <laughs> a ghost town. A ghost maybe, town. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hey, very good, Vicente. I really okay. like that. Daniel, what's all about you? Daniel. Hey, wait, Daniel, Daniel, can you listen to me, Daniel? Sure. Alejandro, what, what's all about you? Yeah. Okay, what's... yeah. Uh, my house in the sure, tree. Can you hear me? My house in the tree. Ah, uh, a tree house. Wow. Oh, yeah, my connection. But I never got them. <laughs> oh, I got it, Alejandro. That would be fantastic. Hey, try to get some images. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Daniel, I think Daniel has problems, uh, connection problems, okay? Teacher. Tell me, Daniel. My, my present. Teacher, teacher. Okay. I have, I have Alejandro. Teacher. Uh, tell me, Rafael. Uh, my presentation, um, it will be a hometown house. A hometown house. Yes. Okay, Rafael, sounds interesting. Tomorrow we will discover what will be all about. Okay. Yes. And Angel. Uh, teacher, I was to, I was going to do a love story, but that hurt too much. And I will make one of a hair break that the title será, that the title be will be an impossible love. An impossible? A uh, love. Wow, it was going to be a romance story. Wow, break. <laughs> okay. But the, the, it seems to yeah. be it, wow, I think yeah. it will be a, a sad story because it says impossible, right? Hey, why don't you delete him? And then you only write uh, you only type possible. A, a possible love. Uh, Don't think about impossible. I think it's better if you say possible, right? But uh, the love hurts too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's up to you. Hey. Uh, uh, okay, so we're going to have some drama for tomorrow. It will be a, a love story. We're going to have a ghost town. Vamos a tener una ciudad fantasma. And we're going to have an enchanted house. Una casa encantada. Hey, what about the rest? I think, what about the rest? Who, who else got this, another story? Another interesting story. Teacher. Tell me. My uh, history, my history uh, will be in pair. Ah, you're gonna work in purse. Mm -hmm. Will be similar at Percy Jackson. Okay. 
So you you will be working with uh, Brandy, I think. Yeah, exactly. Okay, pretty good. Oh, you guessed. No, it's because you. Every single time I ask you, hey, Brandy, who do you who do you choose to continue with the activity? They say Janira, and when I ask Janira, Janira says Brandy. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why I guessed. Muy notorio. Yeah. Uh, let me see. No, no one else. So if we if you don't have. Anything else? Okay, lo que no van, lo que no van a compartirnos ni ni el tema por lo menos. Bueno, pero bueno, esperamos sure, algo. Sure. Daniel. Daniel. Okay. My presentation will be about the legend of the fairy in the wizard. Oh, the legend of fairies wow. and wizards. Like a song. Okay. I, I thought you were going to say <laughs> the legend of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Wizard, another wizard. That's a, yeah, that's another, another story. story right? <laughs> hey, see you tomorrow, people. God bless you, and it's okay. been a pleasure for me to see good you night, here. Everyone. Have a good night, everybody. Get ready good for night. tomorrow. Be good ready. Good night, everybody. Good night. Night. Bye, see teacher. You, good night. Good night. See you night. tomorrow. God willing, see you tomorrow, people. See you tomorrow, teacher. You did a great job. Congrats. See you, Daniel, Carla, and everybody. See you tomorrow.